In this example, we're going to look at a material balance on a system that's changing with time. So the system we have is a tank that we're flowing water into. So it starts empty, flowing in water at 85 liters per minute. And then after 10 minutes, so after we have some water in the tank, then we open a valve and we flow out some water. And the rate of flow out is 0 0.20 times the volume. So this is also liters per minute. And what this means is as the height gets larger and the volume gets larger, then the flow out is larger. And so what we expect is we're going to reach some steady state where the flow in equals the flow out. So we want to write a material balance, but in this case, since mass is density times volume in the tank, we can write, and the density, of course, of water is constant, we can write a balance on the volume, and that becomes a material balance. And so it's a differential equation. The volume's changing with time. And for the first 10 minutes, this number is 85 liters per minute. So this is true from zero to 10 minutes. And our initial conditions for this differential equation is that when t equals zero, v equals zero, we start with an empty tank. And then after 10 minutes and we open the valve, then we still have the flow in, but now we have the rate of flow out, proportional volume, and this is for t greater than 10 minutes. So we want to solve these equations. Now the first one, dv equals 85 dt, which means that volume is equal to 85 times time, since the volume is zero when t is zero. And then the second one, we're going to write it by putting volume terms on the left side and time terms on the right side. And remember, this is for t greater than 10 minutes. And so now what I want to do is integrate from 10 minutes some time t. Now at 10 minutes, the volume is 850 from this equation. And then we're calculating the volume. At, so we're going to calculate the volume at time t by integrating this equation. So let me pause and write that down. So now I can substitute in the limits. So this, and I'm going to bring this term of, let's make sure we're correct here. This is a minus sign because of the minus sign here. Bring the minus 0.2 to the right side and substitute in the limits. So 85 minus 0 0.20 V, so this is the log of the whole thing here. 85 minus 0 0.20 850 equals minus 0 0.20 t minus 10. So I'm going to multiply some of these terms out and simplify a little bit. So now I'll take the exponent of both sides. I'll bring this term, which is minus 85, then the denominator times the exponent of 2 minus 0 0.2 times t. Well, we can rearrange and solve this equation for v, so let me just pause and do the algebra. Remember, this equation applies for t greater than 10 minutes, and then the equation v equals 85t applies for time between 0 and 10. So I can put this in Excel to plot, and let's look at what the plot looks like. So from 0 to 10 minutes, the straight line volume increases linearly with time, and then once we start the outflow, the volume starts decreasing to it starts approaching a steady state value a little above 425 liters in the tank. We could also solve this by solving the differential equations directly in a program like polymath. So let me just show you the solution and the equations for polymath. Of course, we get the same behavior in the polymath program is really very simple as shown here on the left.